Hey guys, Professor Herb here, playing another uh, Climbed Cog using Subterrors. Just gonna open up a pack real quick and see what we get. See if we get anything. Only have 50 jemmies. Uh, Casey Cup has started. I'm not sure if I want to do the Casey Cup on this account. I'm feeling no. Uh, but there are a lot of gems involved with at least doing the first seven attempts. So, in that regard, it's kind of tempting. But, ultimately, I think that right now is a good time to just keep grinding out what we were doing. Before, we fought two actually pretty competitive decks. Actually, three. I think even this one was Luna Lights, right? Yeah. And so, now we're starting to get into the thick of it. So, wish me luck, guys, because I'm going to need it. If I keep facing decks that look like um, sub-optimized meta decks. Meta for the latter at least, keep in mind. Um, if you look at the tier lists of decks, there's really only a handful. And like Lunar Lights wouldn't land on that as a tier deck. But it's, it's pretty common to see on the ladder. So that's what makes it meta in my opinion. So, right now, we're getting to the point where I don't really need to describe what's happening on screen so much. Because now we've seen it several times. So, I can start talking about other things. Um... Right now, I've been doing a ton of art. I've been getting commissions thanks to my involvement with the... Is is my opponent also playing Subterrors? Why else would he play that, right? I mean, that is definitely a Subterror monster. It's not one I would run. Yo, my sub terror uh stride strigo kraken's going to be a real problem for him that's also good that's also good um we're going to play this guy we're going to i want to flip up the birds and just effectively mill a card off the top of my deck but i don't really have anything that I'd want particularly in my graveyard, so I'm just going to sacrifice it. Oh, I screwed up. I needed to get another copy of it. Uh, that was, that was a blunder on my part. In turn. That was, that was dumb. I meant to get I should have gotten another copy of this guy. Nice. Nice. That's cool. That's really interesting that I'm facing another sub terror deck. This will be interesting to see how I can compete in the mirror match. Obviously my first my first time going against the mirror. There's seems to be less optimized than mine, however. Because, um... They, they don't seem to have any of the, um... crucial... sub terror boss monsters so what's gonna happen right now is I'm thinking about getting rid of this one I can't really get rid of either of them right so because she can always respond with this one. I'm gonna try to get rid of this guy. See what happens. Well, no. Um, 
I guess it doesn't really matter. She can try to save no matter who I pick. Let's try to get rid of this guy. Yes, I do. I do want them assist. Thanks. Okay. Oh, he couldn't do it because it was during the battle step. Or the damage step, I meant. That's right. Alright, so... On end turn. Okay, I definitely don't need another copy of the birds. So, let's flip them up. And discard them. He's swapping out? I don't know what this guy's doing. I, I, I said I didn't need to talk about what's going on on screen, but then I ended up in a mirror match, which actually made this incredibly interesting, to say the least. Okay, so now he has that face down. Oh, yeah. Alright, so discard the birds. Set these two. We're going to use my own effect. Activate effect. And we're going to get the five star, which is what I should have done last time, by the way. But the, I done goofed. All right, and I can use the statues at any point to, to blow something up on the field that I need to blow up. So we're gonna end turn. We're gonna turn this on. And we're going to use this now during the draw step. Use effect now. Target a face down creature. And flip it to face up defense. And get rid of his set behemoth. He can't respond. I'm pretty sure anyway. Now I can't use my statues, but I kind of can, because I can sacrifice these two monsters to get the seven star, and then summon the two copies of, of these things, which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to get the seven star. And just set them. I need to be a little bit faster, because I've been talking a bit too much. And I'm running low on time. And she gave up. That's interesting. She definitely gets a nice. Um, I'm curious to look at their deck and see how unoptimized it is. It kind of looks like she was going for a little bit of all of them. Like she wanted a, a, a wide selection of sub terrors. Not, not the, not the game plan I was going for. As you can see, I have over over there the and in the description below by the way I have the goal version of this deck um, so yeah she was using these guys instead of the birds um, she was still using this card she only had one of the sub terra final battle I mean I only had one for a long time so no no hate um, Yeah, she seems to have one of each of the boss monsters. Very, very suboptimal. She has two of the two star. Not good. Yeah, as soon as I saw... It seems like as soon as you start swapping around these too much, uh, the game doesn't like you doing that. And it will stop you from, from working. She has a full extra deck of seven, eight monsters? No, seven. Of seven. Which you can only get from exceeding and uh, synchroing a hundred times each. So her account's much older than mine. Of the Abyss. Yeah. No, it's uh, very interesting. Not... Not particularly good. You had a much stronger extra deck than I had. Which makes me think that she's only dabbling 
with Subterrace. Like, she saw them at some point and was like, this seems like a cool deck. Let me look into this. Uh, had a bunch of one-ofs from going through the box like a single time. And was like, let me give this a try. But... Probably not the best strategy. Not gonna lie, probably not the best strategy. Alright. This is... I'm starting to get to the point... I'll be honest with you. I'm starting to get to the point where I don't feel comfortable letting my monsters onto the field without having my appropriate trap in the background to flip them up during my opponent's turn. Like, I kind of want that as an option. But unfortunately, it's just not. Okay. Okay, so probably going to get the one... So he has, like, two options. Yeah, I was going to say he was going to get Brave Neos. There's also the warrior version of Brave Neos. The warrior version of Brave Neos. Does that prevent me from targeting him? Or does that just, um... Alright, well, he doesn't have a field zone. Now he does. Yes? Alright, so I'm getting rid of you. Oh, it does make it so I can't target Brave Neos, huh? When it crits... Second time in the round. Okay. Doesn't seem like... It's... Hmm. I don't know how to feel. This is, this is rough, because I yet again don't have my back row card. And I'd really, I'd really like it. He also has some sort of back row card of his own. He has, he seems to have a really good hand. Oh, you're making me choose. Why would you do this to me? I was kind of hoping that it would be uh, the Subterror um, kid, the one that comes out when um, I'm trying to figure out why I couldn't target him with okay all right i'm i'm just not sure why i couldn't target him Also, your opponent can't target it with card effects. There you go. There's my answer. It was the favorite hero equip card. That's what I thought. Dude, rough. Now, we're both kind of top decking. Do I want to accelerate? No. I really can't afford to drop a 5-star. Let's see. Alright, that's huge. That's huge. Um, so, we can set him. Just because he's so easy to get back out onto the field, right? The big problem is I have all three of these guys in the graveyard. That's a huge problem. 
I don't have any way to get them back out of there. I do know that there's a monster in the game that exists. This guy has a very interesting deck, by the way. Um, there's a monster in the game that exists that allows you to... Um, play your... It's a Exceeds monster for two four stars. I, I, I was getting so lost in the sauce. There's an Exceeds monster that costs two stars, and what it does is... Uh, it costs two four stars, and what it does is it allows you to shuffle three monsters from your graveyard back into your deck and then draw a card. There you go. I finally got it out. I couldn't... I couldn't think. Uh, I was so... Uh, enraptured by what was going on here. Trying to figure out how I can survive this. I almost feel like I could get through this just by letting him deck himself out. Uh, if I can delay the game for six more turns. I don't know how doable that's gonna be. I can't blow up his monster using sub uh, Statue of Anguish. Um, but what I can do is I can blow up his field spell using Statue of Anguish. And if I do that, then um, his monster goes back to his extra deck at the end of the damage, at the end of the turn. <sighs> I really want to get rid of his field spell or uh, use this guy to actually uh, make plays, but I really, I can't afford to. I, my really only hope right now is to get another Statue of Anguish pattern and then blow up his field spell. That's really the only hope I have uh, because I don't really have the means to stall against a 5k beer, and I can't destroy him directly because of the Neos fusions in his deck, or in his graveyard. He'll just remove the Neos fusions, so I can't destroy this thing. I can't banish it because I've already lost both of my terror, like all three of my um, Umastrix, so I can't just banish him. Um, that's unfortunately not an option. I theoretically... <sighs> okay. Yeah. I really don't have any way of getting around this. This needed to be the, um... I'm, I'm struggling to go through my, my options of what I could possibly draw, and there's really nothing I could draw that would stop him from winning the game. I could stall out maybe four more turns if I drew very, very specific monsters. Um, let's try doing this. What, what I'm planning on doing is he'll kill my guy and I'll be able to get back out my warrior. Um, and just have another blocker to keep stalling. That's really my only strategy right now, is just to deck him out. That's it. That's all I, all I can... Yep, this is a proper inv... Okay. Now that I've seen this card, I know it's Invoked Neos. I didn't know it was Invoked Neos. But I should have guessed. But he didn't have... What's his name, the Invoker? Alright, so, yes. We're gonna blow up his face-down back row. And then, yes, we're going to 
continue stalling out by playing this guy in defense position. Uh, what did I destroy, by the way? I destroyed a mirror force. So, like... Oh, he was able to attack again, huh? Oh, yeah, because this guy can attack each monster once each. Okay, so that was a proper Invoke Neos. Uh, see, I, I started that game by saying I didn't want to play my behemoths without the trap in the back row and i immediately showed you why because they're kind of vulnerable to things like this where he was untargetable and i couldn't remove him from the game um yeah yeah this is this is an it seems like a very bad invoked neos deck like, this guy heard Invoke Neos, Invocation, Neos f Fusion. Like, that's what he heard and then made a deck. There's so many one-ofs. It seems very bizarre to me, but, I mean, that's what he was playing. He was playing a full Invoke Neos deck. So, yet again, another that's another very strong uh, meta deck that exists out there. Um, meta again, relative to the latter. If you're a tournament player, you're going to be like, I think Mios hasn't been meta in, in months and months and months. But I'll be like, okay, yeah, it's not meta in tournament scenes. But, man, Paleozoic would have been so good last game. If I had this opening hand last game, it would have been even better. Okay, so this is DDD's. But it, he's playing the Yami Yugi field spell. Which doesn't make me feel too concerned. The the Yami field spell. What does this thing do? Ah, the DDDs always have so much text. You can target one DD monster and get your special summon in the DD flame. Let's pretend if this card is destroyed by battle or... It's destroyed by an opponent's card effect. You can target one dark contract in the graveyard and add it to your hand. And then this thing. If you have three or more DDDs on the field, this card gains 3,000 attack. If. God, this guy's making all of the plays. Okay, now that's awesome. That's a pretty good draw I just got. He does have something he can play on my turn, which is, like, somewhat scary. But, you know, such is life. So... I think, I think the least useful card to me is the Statue of Anguish, so we're going to set it first. And end my turn. I have to really think this one out, because um, this is a complicated fight. Right now, the only monster he has that's stronger than my guy, my sub behemoth's defense is this 3200. So, I have to Canadia him during the battle phase. I could technically Canadia him at any point, now that I think about it. Because I can Canadia him and then swap my guy into attack position. God, I have to do so much reading. I don't know what these cards do. You can send that to the hand and target one card in the field and destroy it. What do you target? He targeted my Canadia. Alright, so I have to use it. So, I'm going to target his 3200. Now I have to... I have to do this. I have to change... 
I guess I technically don't have to do this, but it's it's too late now. I'm I'm doing it, obviously. Um no. Uh but I was thinking to myself Um I could also just raise my guy's defense to like a lot more, but Turn that back to auto. God, can this guy get him out of the graveyard? I just realized this. Mm, maybe. That's a very strong maybe. Okay, no. Uh, but that's a 2800. Damn it. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, that was a misplay. See, I'm, I'm getting in my own head. No. Um. What I should have done was uh, just raised my own guy's attack. Or defense, I meant. Why are they so huge? Okay. Do any of these things do anything on my turn? If this card is in your hand, you contribute one dragon monster other than and one other fiend type monster Special summon this card. Once per turn, you can discard one card. This card gains five attack, and then you destroy one spell or trap on the field. I have to get rid of him. Thankfully, my guy is a 4,000 when I attack. Declaration of battle? No. Damage death. Yes. So we're going to make him a 4,000. Okay. Now I do think that he can still destroy my back row with this thing, unfortunately. one card on the field. I can't even stop that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can't. Um, I can do this. I can do this. Um, it doesn't really matter what I select. Yeah, change him to face down, whatever. Uh, but the whole point of doing this, the whole point of doing this is I can bring out Canadia and set him in defense so I don't die. Because if I just left my monsters um yeah, select a monster to change. So I actually think he might lose. Take 1,000 damage. What's he gonna do? What can he do? Can he summon something that has piercing? He would need to summon something that has piercing and can do all of my health in one turn. He doesn't have any cards in hand, so he can't discard to destroy monsters on the field. His monsters' effects don't affect Canadia, which is going to be a big boon for me right now. Oh, but... If he can play even anything with over a hundred attack, with like any amount of attack, yeah, okay. There you go, 500 attack, that's 500 more than he needs. Damn! Oh, what is he doing? Oh, he's an idiot! Wait, no, can this get another thing out of the graveyard? Maybe he's not an idiot. He's just showing off. That's what he's doing. 
I fucking hate it. Just, just win. Don't, don't mess with me like this. Whatever. Ah, dang, boy. Um, yeah, I screwed up. I, I made one major misplay on that one. I did not need to destroy his monster. Now, he might have been able to destroy me anyway by discarding a card, in which case it wouldn't have mattered. I, I can't know that. If I went into, if I let him go into combat and run into my guy, I could have been able to raise his attack, uh, excuse me, his attack and defense to 4,000 each, which he couldn't run over. Um, there was no way for me to know that though. So, all right, man, I, I don't want to keep going, you know, one and two. That's rough. All right, but let's look at these guys. We looked at this guy's Invoke Neo stack. Let's look at what this guy was running. He was run full DDDs, right? Yeah, this is like a fiendish chain. This is like a proper DDD deck. He had two copies of this synchro. This is like full, full power. I don't even know, I don't know enough about DDDs to tell you what would be replaced or not. It's just not a deck I, very, I face very often and it's not a deck I play. So I don't, I don't truly know what an optimized version of DDD looks like. For all I know, this could be what it looks like. But man, what a game. All right. Thank you very much for joining. Silver rank. Silver rank. And I'm running into full power DDDs. As far as I know. Again, maybe the, he has some obvious mistake monsters in there. Or, or, or the Canadia is really holding him back. I don't think so, though. But uh, thank you very much for, for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow. Have yourselves a good one. Peace.